I wish I could say that I had that I would have anticipated the reaction because I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I had no knowledge of the the depth of feeling of um, the the EV lessees for their vehicles. Um, if I had known that, I would have argued vehemently against the shredding and destruction program. It was an area of the company that I'm that I wasn't in charge of, so I was kind of a bystander, and I thought, well, that's certainly a shame. Um, and I was fairly new with GM at the time, and I, I think I, I still had a healthier respect for the quality of all GM decisions than perhaps I have now, where I question stuff a lot more. Everybody agrees that the Volt gets protected no matter what, because the Volt is a, is a new core technology for us. Um, the, the technology in the Volt, that T-shaped battery pack, uh, can really be adapted to a, 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 basically an entire lineup of front-wheel drive vehicles, larger ones and smaller ones, so that um, our plan calls for perfecting that Volt technology and then migrating it to other vehicles so that ultimately the volume will go way up. And um, it is basically uh, the only sure thing that we have in the, say, meeting, meeting or exceeding any, any government regulation anywhere in the world. Well, let's put it this way. I, I, I hate to be the automotive executive who gets savaged by the public for having advocated a fuel tax, but the fact is, in Europe, at $6 a gallon gas, $3 of that is federal tax. And it supports uh, the highway infrastructure. It uh, supports a lot of government programs. It subsidizes mass transit systems, which we don't have in the United States.